Where were we? I'm not going to spend my evening in your husband's company. And I felt we were making such progress. <sighs> Who was on the phone? John. Whoa, that's progress. But he wasn't talking to you. He kept it short and sweet. Apparently, Sonny's looking to make you a widow again. Dad, I am so sorry about Robin. Look, I know how much she meant to you. It all ties together, you know? That time in our lives, me, Stone, Robin, she was just... <laughs> she was just a kid when she met Stone. You never seen two people more in love. It's okay, it's okay. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. I, uh, I, I, I promised Stone that I would take care of her. Dad, it was a freak accident, okay? There was nothing you could do. <laughs> not, not for Robin, but I tell you what. For the rest of you, I'm going to make sure that never happens. It won't, Dad, it won't. Look, let's, let's just take this a step at a time, though, okay? Let's, let's get you back to the exam room. I'll, I'll call for a doctor, get you some pain meds. No, no, no. You go, you go, you go see Jason, all right? Because he, he'd, he'd want to see you. Why don't we go together? Because i, I got to wait for the... the my discharge papers, it's gonna take a while. You sure? Jason needs to see that. He needs you more. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you. What? What? Tell Jason that I'm thinking about him. I got to you, Dad. Don't let it go to your head. There are worse things than admitting you care, you know. Yeah, I think you got me confused with your soldier. He's a Marine. Noted. You two are nothing alike. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy. He's a solid guy. Why didn't you go after him? Maybe I should have. Couldn't hurt to play it safe, you know. <laughs> but... But that's not what I want. What do you want? I'm still here, aren't I? Guess you got to me, too. Sonny found something out tonight. I take it I don't want to know what it is? <laughs> See? This is what I love about you. You get me. You shot him. I told you I had nothing to do with that. Well, whatever it is, it must have been pretty big if he's willing to end your life over it. Ah, you know, Sonny. Complete hothead. I do know Sonny. And the word lethal comes to mind. I'll take care of it. You know what? You can start... You can start by getting out of this house Venus. now. I mean it. You are putting all of us at risk. I want you out now before Sonny blows in. It's too late. I gotta give it to you, old man. You do make it easy to find. Sonny, this isn't happening. Definitely not here. You need to get out Tracy. now. Tracy. I need to speak to your husband. Really? What about? 
Well, we can start with a bullet he put in me tonight, the one that was meant for my son, Dante. You've been a problem for a long time, Anthony. I'm gonna resolve that right now. Sonny, are you really gonna threaten to murder my husband in my own home? It's not a threat, Tracy. It's a statement of fact. Sonny, you have five seconds to get out of this house before I call the police. Why, Tracy, when I'm about to remove an unwanted complication from your life? Don't you think it's a little hypocritical to come after me for taking a shot at Dante when you've already tried to take him out yourself? You're in no position to throw insults, Grandpa, especially when it comes to families. I don't know who's crazier, you or Johnny. Maybe I should go talk to him. If it'll keep you from going after John, you go ahead and blame me. You still defend him even after he threw you under the bus. John's mad at me. I get that. If I thought it would bring him some peace, I'd reach over and pull that trigger for you. You're not going to have to. Then go ahead. Get it over with. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Go on. Shoot me. Right in front of my wife. Her testimony will send you to prison. Yeah, you sure she'd do that? I'm not. Come on, Tracy. We both know this marriage isn't about love. It's an arrangement. A business deal that's going to go bad eventually. You have insulted me for many years. I'm about to do you a favor. Tempting. You know better than to trust him. Do I? Anthony can be out of your life for good. Uh, just like that, all you gotta do is leave the room. see. I thought you had more class than that, old man. You gonna beg? Go ahead, I like it. Go ahead. Make a move for it. I got no problem shooting you in the back. Okay, Just enough. Sure. We're done here. We're done here. You need to get out or I'm going to start screaming and the servants, they're going to make great witnesses. You are lucky. You got her here. Tracy, this could have been the answer to all your problems. I know. I know, but uh, it would mean that I'd have to side with you. Sorry. You can hide all you want, old man. Trying to find you is going to be half the fun. Watching you die is going to be the other half. Just get out! Hey, Tracy, I'll see you soon. Why? You took an awful big chance for me, Tracy. If you didn't believe I was innocent, why would you do that? No, it was an act of self-preservation. I, uh, I, I didn't want to have to explain to Monica why there were bullet holes in the drapes and blood on the floor. You deny all you want. I saw what happened. Anthony. I want you gone. I want you out of my life. And that seems to be an option Sonny has every intention of providing me with. I agree. Would be wise to head for the airport. Really? Where are you going to go? I think it's best you don't know. <laughs> Excuse me if you've forgotten I just saved your life. I know your temper, Tracy. Wouldn't want you spilling the beans to Sonny in the heat of the moment. I'll remember what you did for me just now. And believe me, I will repay the kindness. How about a divorce? <laughs> you don't mean that. Me and you, we're just getting started. I'm ahead.
headed for the airport. I'm going to need some of that reserve cash I hid from Johnny. Have it waiting for me on the other side. No idea how long I'm going to be gone. Right? If I don't make this plane, I'll be gone, period. Ha, 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 ha.